Hi, everyone. Today I'm going to read a story to you by Shel Silverstein. I've read another one of his stories to you called The Giving Tree, which is one of my all time favorite books. This one is called A Giraffe and a Half. He's another author who illustrates his own books, and I just love them. If you had a giraffe and he stretched another half, you would have a giraffe and a half. If he put on a hat and inside lived a rat, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat. If you dressed him in a suit and he looked very cute, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit. If you glued a rose to the tip of his nose, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose. I love the look on the little boy's face, gluing the rose on his nose. There's a little bee there too, isn't there? Oh, <laughs> if a bumbly old bee stung him right on the knee, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat, looking cute in his suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee. <laughs> if he put on a shoe and then stepped in some glue, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in his suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe. If you gave him a flute and he played tootie toot, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in his suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute. Look how long the giraffe's neck is. Wow. <laughs> if he used a chair to comb his hair, I don't know how that works, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat, looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose, and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe, playing toot on a flute, with a chair in his hair. <laughs> if he tripped on a snake who was eating some cake, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit, with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe, playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake. If he found an old trunk and inside was a skunk, oh boy, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk. If he met a fat dragon who sat in a wagon, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee with some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute and a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon. If he jumped on a bike and rode over a spike, he would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike. Can you pick out every one of those things I just spoke in the picture? It's kind of fun looking at these illustrations that way, isn't it? 
if a blueberry whale got a hold of his tail, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute and a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike and a whale on his tail. If he fell in a hole, that was dug by a mole, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute. Oops, I have to start over. You would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee with some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike and a whale on his tail in a hole with a mole. But if you brought them a pole to climb out of the hole, and the whale left his tail and went off for the mail. <laughs> and he gave the spiked bike to a scout on a hike. And he left the fat dragon because his wagon was sagging. And he gave his chair to a tired old bear. And he traded the flute to a bird for some fruit. Looks like he got an apple. And he told that old snake to go jump in a lake. And a man who bought junk bought the trunk with the skunk. And he gave the rose to a girl he chose. While the bee on his knee flew away with a flea. And he put the shoe with the glue on you. <laughs> <laughs> and that silly old rat ran away with his hat. And he put his suit in the laundry chute. And he shrank another half. You would have a giraffe. <laughs> oh, I love that. What a fun story. That takes quite an imagination to write a story like that, doesn't it? It would be fun if you all used your imagination to write a little story. Maybe listening to a giraffe and a half will inspire you to do that. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did reading it to you. Have a great day, everyone. I'll be back to read to you soon, okay?